What is a real estate hot sheet? When agents are new to the real estate industry, they are trained to monitor the hot sheet every morning in order to stay informed of the inventory changes. So what is a real estate hot sheet and can non-realtors get access to it? Up until now, the hot sheet was proprietary information only available to paid members of the MLS. But recognizing that inventory is so low in Tallahassee, I have developed a consumer hot sheet that will be very useful to those looking to buy or sell a home. This video explains what you will find in the hot sheet and how to get access to it. Hi, I'm Joe Manasa, author of The Business of Getting Business and the creator of Manasa.com, where I've helped tens of thousands of people buy and sell homes. I would like to help you too. If you already are a subscriber, thank you and welcome back. If you're not a subscriber, please consider becoming one now. We offer the most thorough and accurate housing market reports on YouTube, plus answers to your real estate frequently asked questions, and we also provide virtual tours of some of the most beautiful homes in Tallahassee. Simply hit subscribe to get started and the bell so that you're the most informed buyer or seller in your next real estate transaction. A real estate hot sheet gives you a quick ability to see the properties that are most likely to sell next. If you're planning on buying a home a year from now, this is not so important. But if you've been out in the market hunting for just the right home, then this hot sheet could very well steer you to your dream home. And if you have a home to sell, the hot sheet will show you the toughest competition that you will face in the market. It's easy to get confused by the thousands of sellers out there with asking prices all over the map. So focusing on the hot sheet will allow you to identify your true competition. So how is the hot sheet prepared? There are four specific groups of homes for sale that I like to monitor daily. They include homes just listed for sale, brand new to the market, homes with recent price reductions, homes that have come back on the market after a contract has failed to close with a buyer, and distressed properties on the market. Additionally, I like to review the most recent homes sold in Tallahassee. So, the hot sheet shows the four categories of hot listings as well as a list of recent sales. I've included a link to the current hot sheet for homes in Tallahassee down below this video. Here is why each category is important for both real estate agents and consumers to track. The just listed homes group is typically exciting as these are all the listings that are new in the MLS. These are most often the most competitive listings when the sellers have chosen the right agent to market the home as well as the correct initial asking price. Of course, there is a handful of them that have been regurgitated by their agents, meaning they canceled the listings and made a new one, so it would look like the house has not been on the market very long. If you want to know if any home on the list is a fake new listing, just give us a call or leave a comment below the hot sheet and we'll let you know. The second group of homes includes all listings with recent price reductions. When sellers are not getting the exposure they need or they made a big mistake of hitting the market at too high a price, they have to reduce their asking price in order to become competitive with homes that are selling. This puts them behind the eight ball as new listings tend to fetch top dollar. A price reduction often signifies a change in seller motivation and thus an opportunity for buyers, so monitor this list regularly. This next group includes listings coming back on the market. Think of it as a second bite at the apple. Have you ever made an offer on a home only to miss out because you were outbid by another buyer? Boy, is that frustrating. Well, it's rare to get a second bite at the apple, but the back on the market listings include homes that were put under contract with a buyer, but the contract failed to close. Back on the market homes are available again, but this time the seller could have a bigger problem to solve. Oftentimes, sellers get a new home under contract as their home is going under contract, so losing a buyer could cause them to lose the home they want to buy. Back on the market sellers are often more motivated the second time around than they were during the first when they were not yet ready to move. Track these with the same intensity that you track price reductions because these sellers are showing signs of increased motivation. The fourth group shows a list of all distressed homes for sale. These include foreclosures, pre-foreclosures, short sales, and bank-owned properties. This is one of the closest monitored lists, so if you see a distressed property pop up on the list, you'll need to go see it immediately. If it's a good value, it will go under contract right away. Usually, it's the first buyer in that has the best chance to secure a distressed property. Finally, take a look at the most recent sales. You can quickly get a feel for what is selling and how homes are being valued in today's market. You do not need to be an expert and memorize them, but seeing the list and checking out properties similar to what you plan to buy or sell will give you an idea of what you'll encounter in the market. Remember, there's a link below the video to the current real estate hot sheet, and it includes all four groups of homes that I identified, as well as the most recent 1,000 homes sold in the Tallahassee real estate market. 
If you would like to see video answers to questions from viewers just like you, I've assembled a great playlist that you can view by clicking on the box on the top left corner of your screen. For the most up-to-date information on the Tallahassee real estate market, just click on the box below it. Please remember to like this video and subscribe to our channel so that you never miss anything.